Hello everyone and welcome to the November review of the Polestar driver numbers that have been submitted and all the trips uh, from real world drivers. Thank you for joining us and I'd like to say a warm welcome to the eight new subscribers we've had since the last video. It's great to have you with us. Don't forget to tell your family and friends and to click on the like button below and subscribe. Get your family and friends to subscribe if they're interested in the real world range of a Polestar 2. So let's take a look at the numbers. Okay, so in November we received 130 trips, uh, which is great. Uh, in total, across the whole year, we now have 1,200 trip, trips in the database, and that's covering a total of 80, more than 80,000 miles and almost 130,000 kilometers. Here's our summary page, which shows just uh, eight different uh, measures uh, that we are doing, and the numbers there show you, for example, 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour if you work it in kilometers just multiply it by 1.6 so we now have submissions from 11 countries with 98 individual contributors and 1000 trips 1200 trips so in november we had 15 individual contributors submitting 130 trips thank you very much to everyone so what does the range look like? So consumption slide I've now broken down into the different models. We have the long range dual motor, long range single motor and standard range single motor. So this first slide shows uh, the consumption number for the long range dual motor. And you can see there in November, we are looking at 33.2 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 20.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers so as you can see it's gone up the consumption has gone up since October uh, by almost two kilowatt hour if we look at the long-range single motor version here we have 35 entries covering 1879 miles and in October it was 28.4 kilowatt hours per 100 miles and in November we're looking at 30.7 as an average. Uh, that translates into 19.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. For the first month we've received some data from a standard range single motor driver, which is great. And the numbers on there are looking uh, with nine submissions over 466 miles. We have 32.3 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 20.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I will come back to the single range motor shortly, uh, but let's just move on. So this next slide shows long range dual motor, the miles per kilowatt hour. And there you see in October it was uh, 3.24 miles per kilowatt hour. In November it's down to 3.06 and we had 99 submissions in November. For kilometers per kilowatt hour it's gone from 5.22 to 4.92. Long range single motor in October we were at 3.53 miles per kilowatt hour in, uh, in October. And in November, that's gone down to 3.28. So not a huge decrease, but slight, slightly down. That translates also into 5.71 kilometers per, 100, per kilowatt hour in October, down to 5.28 in November. And then single range, uh, standard range single motor version is here 5.01 kilometers per kilowatt hour or 3.13 miles per kilowatt hour with nine entries in November. 
this one here will just track the the range across all the months in the year um, as you can see the bottom one is long range dual motor which has almost a year worth of data now and then a long range single motor in the middle and standard range single motor at the top so over the months you'll be able to see how this uh, these two new models change compared to the long range which has been around for over a year now uh, this one here is another comparison just shows you the range per month uh, and the blue uh, bars show you the miles and the peach colored bars show you the kilometers so in november the average range for long range dual motor is 229 miles or 369 kilometers and for the long range single motor we have 246 miles or 396 kilometers so here you can see a direct comparison between long range single motor and long range dual motor on the left hand side you can see uh, the range for standard range single motor 191 uh, from the submissions for that model this page here is just a one page comparison for all the all the rain, uh, models so here we have long range on the left a uh, dual motor on the left long range single motor in the middle standard range single motor on the right hand side with how many trips are in each area and then you can compare distance range kilowatt hours and miles per kilowatt hour along the bottom here i've put the top three uh, contributors by number of trips in each model so that you can see how many trips have been logged by an individual person and what the average range is in miles and kilometers. Now I do have a question for Paul B. Let me know in the comments below if you would. I see under long range single motor we have Paul B. Paul space B with 19 trips. And on the right hand side standard range single motor we have Paul B with no space, 9 trips. Now it is possible that these are two different people but if it is the same Paul B in both instances and some data has been logged under the incorrect model then please let me know either in the comments below or on Facebook and uh, we can adjust uh, the model in the database just to make sure it's ending up in the correct place. Maybe Paul B is lucky enough to have two pulsars, a long range single motor and a standard range single motor. But let me know and we can uh, review that data and if there's anything that's incorrect there, we can adjust that. Preheating, so as it's getting colder, preheating becomes more important. And if we have a look here, we can see in the green section at the bottom that in November, uh, those that did not preheat average 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour and those that did do preheating they averaged 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour so it's starting to pay off to do your preheating before you go out here we're just showing the average temperature across the month so again in November there's quite a drop to 8 degrees C across all the submissions in uh, the system and that's down from 12 degrees average in October. Air conditioning, so since uh, the introduction of uh, software version P1.7 we now have an eco function in the car and people are uh, using this and here we can see in the green section at the bottom uh, for November we have 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour on eco and 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour when the air conditioning is off and then 3.0 miles per kilowatt hour 
if you have air conditioning on normal. So at the moment, we can't see much of a difference between, um, between eco and off. Uh, but as we collect more data, you'll be able to analyze which is better over time. Don't forget at the end of the uh, document, um, which is available on the website, you will see the real world range uh, chart for each country. So if you're interested to go and browse there, you'll find uh, your country's data in the list and go and compare how that relates to what you're getting in your car. That's it for this month. Don't forget you can review the full report, which is somewhere near 50 pages long now, on the website at polestardriver.com forward slash reports. I'll put the link uh, below in the description. Take a look there, you will find many different uh, charts. So take a look. If you have any questions, you can contact me below by the comment section on the video, or you can find us on Facebook at Polestar Driver, and you can interact with us there, either send us a message or post a message on our page. Thanks again for joining. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.